Uh, my name's Matt, and this evening I'm going to talk about My Next Circle, which is a website. It's a uh, social network that I set up to connect older people to help them uh, really have a home for discussion about everything and anything under the sun, and to give them the support and guidance from friendships, uh, which we all need in our lives. But before I do, I'm going to read you a poem. I haven't read a poem out in public since I was about 13. Um, at which time I was also scored, I think, three out of ten for it, so bear with it. Um, but this poem really encapsulates why uh, I set up my, uh, my next circle. A crumpled tissue on the floor, with curtains drawn and bolted door. The outside world was now shut away, with no one there with words to say. We sat in silence, all alone, this cell, this cage we call our home. Our memories dance with no tune or time, to loneliness we build a shrine. We cry out loud, but no one hears. We hide our dreams amongst our fears. We dare not sing, we dare not speak. Our thoughts are frailer, voices weak. We search our souls for what might be. We are looking for that inner me. For when we find what lies within, we are on the outside, looking in. And that was contributed to my next circle as the first post from a chap called Ken, a 75-year-old gent. And it's really impactful for me. And as a 36-year-old, it's really easy for me to be able to distance myself from loneliness, from isolation. And it's only when you hear stats such as a million people in the UK over the age of 65 are able to say that either they're often lonely or always lonely, or that 5 million people, uh, the old people in the UK, will say that their greatest companion is the television. It's just time for things to change. And for me, that was time for me to set up my next circle. And really what we have is a website which, as I say, allows people to have conversations about everything and anything. It allows them to upload photos of their grandkids or just simply say hello to someone in the morning or say goodnight. And what we did is with the SSE money is, is I put some of that into advertising and I said, come, have a look at the site. And I had a few hundred people join, and those few hundred people got a few hundred more people. And roll forward a few months, we now have a site and a community which has a few hundred people, but tens of thousands of private messages exchanged between people. We have over 125,000 posts. So just as Ken's poem, we have 125,000 posts such as that. What's even more impressive, we've had over a million people come and visit the website in just the last few months. So there's obviously a need, but I really don't want it to stop there. It changes too many people's lives. It's just full of too much goodness for it to stay where it is. I think there's an opportunity for it to grow in terms of its membership and for it to do good. But I also think it's an avenue for allowing and enabling people to meet online and therefore to meet offline through the conduit of digital to connect in that way. And I also think it's an amazing social network, social community, but I think it's also got a huge opportunity from a learning perspective to give the skills and confidence and direction that many of our older community are looking for in their lives at the moment. And for all of this to happen, it's kind of where you guys come in. It's very simple. We need to raise more funds, and we need to get more people to the site. So there's an ask to each and every one of you whether it's a, a parent, a grandparent, a friend, a neighbor, someone you know who may benefit from connecting with others through my next circle, tell them to go to the website. Come and find me later. I'll talk you through it. I'll show you around. And my ask to those with maybe slightly deeper pockets within the audience or access to finance, let's have a chat. This now is a self-sustaining platform. In fact, it's making money. We've got advertising on the site. We have an opportunity, we know our metrics, we know our conversion funnel, we know all the numbers around it. It's a smart little business. It does an awful lot of social good, and it also is a smart little business. It has an opportunity to scale and grow, and I'd love it to realize its potential. So before I sign off, we heard from Ken when he first joined the site two months ago. I want to tell you what Ken's last post was. Well, sorry, hang on, latest post. They're two very different things. <laughs> I promised myself I wouldn't say that. Uh, so Ken's latest post. So this is a couple of days ago. I warn you, it's a joke. It's not a very good joke, but it's a joke. So please laugh generously. An elderly couple decided to go out for lunch. During the meal, the man said that he would like to drink. 
No problem at all, said his wife. I'll drive home. On the way home, the car skidded into a tree. An ambulance was called, and on arriving at the scene, the doctor asked the man if his wife was compus mentis at the time of the accident. Compus mentis. Hmm, no, I think she was third party fire and theft. <laughs> As I say, maybe not the best joke, but it's nice to see where Ken's progressed in the last couple of months. And for me, I'm going to go and find some more Ken's, and I thank you all, and have a good evening.